Hello, everyone. Hi, Cassie Shaw here, the director of TV Brave, and I'm going to try doing this video on Periscope and then uploading on YouTube. Look, now I'm bothered because my closet door is not shut. Mm. Anyways, I'm having trouble doing call, uh, videos on here and uploading them on YouTube, but I'm going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work, I'll try it out later. So, I had this. I'm sure I'm not the first one to think about it, but I had this idea. We had a church Christmas party yesterday, and we had to take a white elephant gift. So, we're looking around our house like, what do we take? Well, I'll tell you, last year we were new to the church, and um, for our white elephant gift, I took a brand new plug-in warmer and, like, two brand new waxes. Whatever, that's fine. And this year, I'm like, well, I kind of want to stay with the theme of taking Scentsy. So I looked in my closet, back there in that closet with the door that's open that's bothering me, I have a shelf. And I have all the warmers that we've used, but I don't currently use if we switch them out. And I looked through, and I picked a warmer that we're not currently using, which was our sand pail. And I decided I was going to give that as my white elephant gift. Because it's not junk, but it's used. It's a great one. And it also gets it out there that I sell Scentsy. Hey, Ashley. So, in our church, we're involved. We serve with the children's. My husband does music with the children's. With the children, my husband does music. We're very involved, but we're, so we're not always in our Sunday school class with our group of people that we were partying with last night. So, there have been a lot of people come in since I've been gone for five weeks, and then every other month we serve with the little kids, so we miss out on the class. So, yesterday we show up, and I was shocked. There were so many faces I didn't know. And it didn't even hit me that how great this white elephant gift was. So I'm doing this video to share with you guys and to share with my team that if you have a white elephant Christmas party for gifts, you should really use Scentsy to get your name out there. So I took the sand pill. And the sand pill is kind of like our egg where it has three pieces, right? And what I did was I took the sand pill and I took each piece and I wrapped it up individually. Okay, and then I put these on top. And there was actually still wax in it. I think Ex Eskimo Kiss or something. It smelled good. And when they opened it up, because a lot of people are not familiar with Scentsy, they're like, oh, well, this is cool. Oh, it's like a little candle. They had no idea. And then they open it up, and then someone else says, oh, well, we know who gave us this, because there were a couple people that I knew. And I realized how many people were saying, well, we know who this is from, just by word of mouth, or just by watching me always brand myself, either by having my Scentsy bag, my Scentsy cup, a Scentsy sweatshirt, whatever I have. People I don't really even talk to that often, they knew I sold Scentsy. So, I took a warmer, and I took about four of my um, used wax. I kind of felt cheap, but um, I have a basket of wax that I always use in my home. I just put it in there until I want to use it again. So, I took four half-used or one cube, two cubes of wax, right? And they open this, and all of a sudden they have a beautiful sand pail warmer and four different waxes they can choose from. People were so excited, a couple of them. It was so funny because also throughout the night there were three candles that were given. And everyone in there that knew I sold Scentsy, it became a big joke. Please go in there. I'm sure it's my pen. Oh, well, no, no, please go in there. Um... It became a joke. Oh, well, a Yankee Candle came out. And, you know, me and my husband were just loud about it. Like, no, we can't do Yankee Candle. It's all about Scentsy. So the new people in there, they now know I sell Scentsy. As the night progressed, we finished this. Someone got in a great warmer and wonderful scents. Um, the Yankee Candle was a winter pine scent. And it was a favorite of one of the girls there. And I'm like, you should use very snowy spruce. That's what's in my home right now. And it's awesome. So as we chat... I found out from this lady that I'm just meeting. She's pregnant with her ch third child. She's got two and a half, one and a half, and pregnant with another. She does not work currently. She's had to go on unemployment. She wants to be bringing in money, but she does not want to leave her children at home. Or she doesn't want to leave her children in daycare, which, I mean, a lot of us totally get. And she's just kind of in that place. But her favorite scent was winter pine. So she said to me, can I get a sample of that one you were talking about? And I'm like, absolutely. I'll bring it tomorrow. So... We kind of chat a little more, and I'm not one of those, I tell my team, I'm not one of those in your face pushing you about Scentsy to join my team or anything like that, but I'm going to be real with you, and we talked a lot. She told me she's thought about Unique, or she's thought about this or that, and I just told her, every company has its perks. I love Scentsy, it works for me, but truly, truly, I think everyone has to find that company that works for them, because maybe Scentsy won't work for you, but you know, she went on to say, I love smells, I love candles, I really think Scentsy would work, and she wanted to just know more about it. 
So the people at the party last night that knew I sold Cincy, they also knew that I've been on a few trips and that I'm going on another one soon and that I just earned another one. So like they know this. And this girl said, um, when I walked up first started talking to her, she approached me about it. She's like, hey, how, how, do you, how long have you been selling Cincy? I'm like, two years. And she's like, oh, that's awesome. Do you like it? I was like, oh yeah, I love it. She goes, does it work for you? I'm like, well, we've been on four, we're going on our fourth free trip in another month. So, and I, I'd never know how to say that because I don't ever want it to seem like I'm boasting because I'm certainly not. Um, and she was just in awe. People are in awe when they see that direct sales works for you. So you, as I told you guys on Team Be Brave, on our team training on Thursday, you have to be passionate. You have to be consistent. And people will come to you. They will see it. I was not wearing anything since the, last night. I was not... I made a big joke about Scentsy as these candles were coming out like, blasphemy, you guys know I sell Scentsy. Why would you have candles here? Um, oh, you're just getting rid of it because you want Scentsy. So let's go on. Today at church, I took the girl, the um, a little, about a couple of cubes that I had left and it was very snowy spruce, which is in my home right now. And I was telling her how much I love it and she would love it um, as much as the candle. No, I cannot. I cannot. Okay. Um, that's the hard thing about Periscope. I have little ones. So, gave her the sample. She fell in love. She was so excited. Like, apparently she really loves this scent. And her husband came up to me after church and said, hey, how much are those? Can I get some? How soon will they be in? I'm like, well, it depends on how many you want. You know, I explained how much they cost. And, the, you know, the deal with buying six. I told him I thought I had a couple at home. And he's like, are you placing an order soon? I said, actually, I am today. And um, so he just ordered a six pack of very snowy spruce from me carry on. We had lunch after church and there's another girl in my church who approached me two weeks ago. She wanted to chat Cincy. She needs money and she's in a very hard place and she's going to need some money come at the um, middle of next year. She's going to need to be making more money. And someone had told her, well, I know Cassie runs Cincy as a legit business. You should really talk to her. So we met up a couple weeks ago um, and we had a chat and I shared with her, you know, it's work. If you want it, if you want to work it full time like I do, it's literally full time and you have to work it. And anyways, we had this plan for her. Um, she's joining in January where we have her launch party set, all that. So come to find out her and this other girl that I was chatting with last night, they are good friends. So this other girl is wanting to join Cincy as well, but now she's just wanting to wait and join under the new girl that's joining under me. So we're whole like a domino effect. But not only am I seeing this, I don't know, blessing of people knowing Mommy. Cincy, I am gaining all these new friendships. Both of these girls at my church, I didn't really know. And now I can foresee us becoming really good friends and that's exciting to me. So, and I have to think, when I talk to them and I share with them, what can Cincy do for them? And I know both of those ladies, they need income. They want income and they want the freedom. One of the ladies, you know, wants the freedom to work from home. So it's, it all goes back to the whole point is, if you have a white elephant gift Christmas exchange or any kind of Christmas exchange this month, um, you need to take Cincy. You need to take something Cincy. I'm doing a white elephant mug exchange. I'm using the, using the Happy Holidays plug-in. That's really a, that's great. That's awesome. So, no, well, please stop. I love it. You know, like, I always give Cincy as gifts because I buy for myself. Obviously, we teach that. But the white elephant gift, I never thought. I didn't know if it was okay taking something used. But you know what? That The person that walked away with the Cincy warmer and wax, they got a better gift than probably anyone in there because it was in really good condition. And it, you know, it, it's not cheap. So if you have a party or if you have a team member that has a party, make sure you encourage them to do this because it gets, it's a way of branding yourself without branding yourself, if that makes sense. And when people see you promoting it all the time and they see you consistent and they see you excited, they are going to share your name with people. Just like my name was shared with the, the other girl I talked about that I've already met with when they told me to work with me because I work consistently. So that's what I wanted to share. I'm going to try and see if this uploads on YouTube to share with the rest of my team. And you guys have a great day. Bye.